We're back for rounds 9 and 10 of the Prelude World Challenge GTS Championship, the Lime Rock Park Grand Prix, presented by Bentley. In we're green! And here we go, the drag race. You can see Sandberg definitely protecting that opens it up, or does it for Lawson to sweep the outside cow side by side into one. Well, once again, David to Clemenoff. The Maserati goes for a ride. Uh, oh, look at this. Archibald makes the move. Oh, prong for Tony Gables. Uh, look at that. has got around Chase. Oh, boy, that was an aggressive move. Oh, oh Clemens Clemens. in trouble right in front of the leader. Oh, that's tight. Yeah. Oh, oh no, it's got second getting in too deep on Jack Rice Jr. And Blom had to take it uh, a base of action. Darkie in the mix as well. Sandberg is on it hard. He's got a run on him right there. Oh. Anthony Mantella, after a brilliant run here today, has got turned. Here comes Buford to the inside. That's tight. That is really <laughs> tight there. Watch this. He's yeah. got a Oh, he's in turn. Great car control there by Nate Stacey. I believe that Buford was in his rear bumper. This is for the lead. Sandberg closer than ever on Archibald. Good stuff. He sure is. He's Stacey way and me in a Janetta smart. sandwich right now. Stacey is just hanging on. Sandberg shows the nose, but not enough. And again, Lawson Aschenbach. That was awesome stuff. Awesome Lawson. What a season he's putting together. Revs are up, and there we go. And boy, it looked like a great start. The sin didn't get moving very well. Need the one. Yeah, but a launch that exactly what Sandberg needed. But here comes Aschenbach again. He makes the outside move again. I think he's going to make it stick. And again, that car comes to life a little bit quicker in generating tire temperature. Lawson Aschenbach gets the big move and grabs the lead. No, no, one of the sins down into the pits in Sandberg right now. He is really, I think, getting a bit antsy at this stage here. Sandberg, though, has definitely got more pace than Lawson Austin back, but he's now in a different dynamic when he's got that guy, Parker Chase, right on his tail. Great battle for first, great battle for third, fabulous battle for fifth. Loving this. This is awesome. Now Buford again looking at Clennon. Cal, he's got him. Yeah, he's down at the inside into our stop tech break zone. Look at this battle intensifying <laughs> for third spot. The leaders have taken off a little bit. I wonder if Parker Chase is backing up a little bit here. I wonder if he had a moment maybe as well. That was a suddenly lose a second. Oh, oh and he's, and he's wide. Off. He is really wide. Just Ooh. keeps it together and he touches. He comes back on and just clips. Hugh Plum and turns him. Sandberg is closer than he's ever been down the San Posey straightaway. Looks way to the inside. Lawson starts to turn in. Ooh. Sandberg up and on that curb. He is close. Archibald, can he hang on for another four minutes? He is protecting Here he everywhere. goes. He's on his flank. He's looked for a way through. He dives to the inside. Can he take the lead? Done Sandberg it. does it. Brett Sandberg has fought his way through. Cal, I would expect now he's got to protect as they get down into that uphill section of track. He makes it. Oh, but he's, he's sideways. Oh, he's, he's lost oh, it. Oh, contact. Unbelievable. Just pushed in really deep, got offline, tried to get back on power, comes back across and takes out Oshin back. Buford, your leader now for Racer's Edge of the Sin R1. Great to see as we come down the Sam Posey straight and the checker flies. So Buford, Barkey, and Aschenbach will be on the podium.